Canada's Denis Shapovalov enjoyed a breakthrough moment at the end of 2019, teaming up with Mikhail Yuzhny and claiming a maiden ATP Tour title in Stockholm. I feel like the end was really, really big, a uh, huge step forward for me. But I think it started even before Stockholm. I feel like, you know, after Wimbledon, I took a good break and kind of came back into, into tennis since, you know, I played Montreal first tournament back and it was the first time back since my run and it's kind of the start of me. So that just kind of gave me a lot of motivation and kind of remembered, you know, the passion and, and the fight that I have in matches and, and in tennis. And then obviously joining with, with Mikhail Yuzhny, um, I felt like he helped me so much from the mental side of tennis and, and even off the court and getting back into enjoying it and, and finding certain things that, that really helped me. So I feel like he, he definitely helped me a lot. It started in August last year, 2019. Uh, when he played Winston Salim and uh, we just uh, meet each other again because before we just meet each other when they was both players in the tour and start to work for me it was uh, I can say first player uh, level like so top level and uh, slowly we try to work together. I felt like my tennis was was getting there and I really felt like like in Stockholm, I could have a good chance to, to go for, for a good run and uh, obviously, you know, I did really well lifting that title and, and from there I felt like it was a big weight off my back. There was a couple tournaments where I lost semi, semi, semis and, and to kind of get over that barrier and, and eventually win the title, it was, uh, it was just huge for me. After that, the, the last couple tournaments out of the year, I was just kind of playing free. I felt like, like my goal was, was already completed, so it was just kind of about enjoying the, the end of the year and, and obviously I was able to, to really keep my form together in, in Paris and, uh, and really go for, for another great run. Shapovalov crashes through the doors of Paris. That whole week I was really, really zoning. I, I beat some, some really high level players. I think for confidence wise it was, it was a really big tournament for me. Then is Shapovalov playing his very first Masters 1000 final. Emotionally and, and mentally, it, it was really moving for me. But heading into the offseason after that and having the Davis Cup, you know, and success there, it just, it just all was clicking together and really got me motivated to, to keep working harder. And obviously, you know, I had a, I had a good start to the year as well, you know, beating, beating top players. So it's, it's great that it's been kind of continuous and I've been able to, to keep my form and honestly I think I think a lot of the credit is to, to Mikhail. I feel like he's really helped me with the consistency and just, just keeping that work, keeping my game sharp and yeah, the, I feel like the teamwork has been really good. From my side he can do everything well on the court, you know, the question about the consistency, uh, but he's a great player, I mean, he, from my side he has a great game, interesting game for the spectators, for the public and uh, He's a little bit different from another player. If you see, he can make some really beautiful points. He can make some crazy points, and he can be really solid in some moments. So it's uh, his game is really interesting. Oh, Dennis! Okay, just when you thought that's it, what more could he offer? There he is. He says, "What about me?" <laughs> Still smiling. He's trying to get this crowd behind him. And alongside Dennis, every step of the way is his friend fellow countryman, Felix Auger Aliassi. He rose through the rankings uh, before me, a bit older than me, but uh, you know, it was always a good example of what you can do if you believe in, in, in your goals and in your competence. And uh, I know he's been, a, he's been a great friend overall, so I think that's really the most important. It's like uh, I heard him earlier saying that obviously, you know, tennis is a part of, uh, of our life, but there's going to be after and the, the, the friendship we're building now and the experiences we're going through is going to, um, it's going to be great to to reminisce on uh, later. Well, I'm happy that I have a good friend in the circuit and I'm able to, to do other things with him than, than talk about tennis. It's amazing. I feel like for, for Canadian tennis, it's, it's huge not to just have, have one, one young guy, but, you know, but we have three right now you know, with, with Bianca as well. And I feel like you know, just, just for the nation, for, for tennis itself and in the country, it's just uh, it's so great. I feel like the, the popularity has just grown so much. And you know, so many kids are picking up rackets. I know my mom's tennis school is getting filled up with kids more and more every day. So it's uh, it's just great to, to kind of 
kind of have that and, and to have a buddy alongside as well. When you have a close friend like this on the tour, it uh, definitely makes a difference and it's, uh, it's really amazing to, to have him alongside.